Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be seeing all about conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. So conditional formatting is actually a big topic. And first of all, let us understand that what is conditional formatting. So as the name suggests, conditional formatting is actually applied uh, over the data. It is a kind of formatting technique that is applied to the data only if the data satisfies certain conditions. If the data passes those conditions, then the formatting is applied. If the data does not passes those conditions, then the conditional formatting is not applied over the data. And the data is kept in a regular format. Okay. So to help you better understand this thing, what we have done is we have got some tables uh, in front of us in this sheet. And you can see that there is three different kinds of data in this table. First is the numbers data that is consisting of numerical values. Then we have some textual data and third is these dates. So the conditional formatting on Microsoft Excel can be applied to these three kinds of data. Okay. Which is the numbers, the text and the date. Now let us see that how can we apply conditional formatting over the data. So first of all is how you can apply it. You got to go to the home tab. In the home tab, there is this styles group where this conditional formatting is present. If you just select over it, so there are these five things that you need to know about conditional formatting. First is highlight cells rules. Then is top bottom rules, data bars, color scales, icon sets. And there is one more thing that is new rule, which helps you to apply uh, custom formatting over the data. Similarly, using this clear rules option, you can just clear any of the conditional formatting that has already been applied over the data. And uh, these five options are actually used to apply the predefined conditional formatting over the data in Microsoft Excel. So if we talk about highlight cells rules, so what does it does? It actually highlights the single cell based upon these rules. Now, what are these rules? These are these rules. If you just look closely at them, first is greater than, then is less than, then is between, and then is equal to. So all these four rules are actually applied over the numerical data. Then is this fifth rule, which is text that contains, that is applied over the textual data. Then this rule, a date occurring is applied over the date data. And the last rule, which is duplicate values is used to identify the duplicate or the unique values in the data. So if we try to understand their usage, then uh, we want to first apply this data over this numerical format. So we just go to highlight cell rules greater than. So, okay, one more thing, you first need to select the data over which you want to apply conditional formatting. So I have selected this data go to conditional formatting, highlight sales rules greater than. Now automatically you can see that it has taken up some number 44, but I do not want that. I want the data to be visible, which is greater than say 30. So I just type in 30. And as soon as I do that, you can see the data uh, containing 65, 78 and 50 values has been colored in a particular format. So that is because these three data satisfy my criteria and that's why they have been formatted. How have they been formatted, which is in the second option. Now here are these some predefined options which you can select to format the data like yellow, red, which was already selected. Then you can go for green or if you want, you can choose your own custom format as well. So if you go to this custom formats option, then you can choose a fill for yourself. Suppose I want a green colored fill and you would be shown a sample. Then you can choose the type uh, of the data that you want to show. Since this is a numbers data, I'm going with number. Here you can select like um, the up to which decimal places you want your data to be formatted. So I want one decimal places. You can choose a font for yourself. You can choose a style like I want my data to be bold. I do not want it to be strike through. I want it to be bold and I want no border and fill and okay. So once I do that, you can see that my custom format has been applied 
to the data that satisfies the condition of being greater than 30. What if I change it to say 20? And as soon as I choose 20, then you can see this 30 value is already been included over the formatted data. So that's how you can format it. And if you click on OK, then this formatting would be applied. But if you click on cancel, then this formatting would be cleared. So I can click on cancel now. Now, what if you want uh, your data to be applied formatting on less than basis? Like you can just select this less than and I want to format or highlight the data that is less than say 50. So these are this data less than 50. I have got them formatted. If you want, you can choose any kind of formattings like this. The custom format you can choose. You want, you can choose these given formats as well and you can click on OK. So this is the formatting applied. Now, once your formatting is applied, what if you want to clear it? How can you do that? There are two options. You can go to conditional formatting and go to clear rules. You can go for clear rules from selected cells since the cell which we have currently selected has no rules. So it's not going to do any effect. So for that, first you got to select those cells and then you got to clear rules or you can just go with clear rules from entire sheet. So you can see the formatting has been cleared now. Similarly, uh, if you want to apply some kind of uh, conditional formatting to the textual data. So for the single cells, you can go to this highlight cells rules. And there is this option of text that contains and over it, you can apply your conditional formatting. Uh, and I have not discussed these two options because that is a simple one, uh, like equal to, okay, it's selected. So it is actually used to apply some thing like if you want, you can just type in robot. So if the value is equals to robot, then this two values are equal to robot. They are shown. Similarly, if you just uh, select numbers in this case, then you can just apply numerical formatting to it. If you apply dates to it, then dates formatting would be applied. OK, so um, but we want text that contains for the textual data. So between and equal to are applied to all kinds of data and it is very simple. So I'm not going to discuss it. So if you go with text that contains by default, you can see that Sam is the default value that it has taken. But if you want say R O. So Robert and Roger are the two records that have this R O. So all of the three records are selected, which is two robots and one Roger because uh, both of them have RO. So it is uh, highlighting the text that has RO in it. And again, you can go with a custom formatting or a default formatting for yourself for this data like this. Uh, similarly, if you want to just apply other formatting to it. Now, one formatting is already applied to the data and you want to apply some other formatting to it. How can you do that? Uh, you can go to highlight cell rules and I want the data uh, that is equal to Sam to be highlighted as well. But uh, with this, I want a green fill with a dark green text. So in this case, uh, this is what I'm going to go with and I can just click on OK. So you can see Sam, Roger and Robert values are actually highlighted. OK, so now I'm just going to clear the rules from the selected cells because I have already selected those cells. So clear rules from selected cells will help me to achieve my goal. Now the next thing is uh, for the duplicate values. Now in this textual thing, you can see there are some duplicate values like Sam and Robert have been repeated multiple times. If you want to highlight the duplicate values, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. Then there is this duplicate values option. You can just select on it. Then uh, you see that by default duplicate is selected and the formatting is selected. So green fill. And you can see Sam is occurring three times. So three occurrences of Sam and Robert is occurring two times. So two occurrences of Robert have been by default formatted. But what if you do not want to show duplicate values? If you want to show unique values, then how can you do that? So there is this simple thing. You can just drop down for this duplicate and there is this unique. So that's Roger and Sean. These two are the unique values. So using this, you can also go with unique criteria to show 
only the unique values or the unique records in your table and if you want you can just customize your formatting like this and again similarly if you want to apply some duplicate formatting to it then how can you do that you want to duplicate uh, show the duplicate values also but in a different kind of a color like in a green color and okay so this is how you can apply multiple formattings to it so that is about conditional formatting in textual and the numerical data in the next video we are going to continue with our lecture on conditional formatting thanks for watching the video